Awesome. Cool. Everyone can still hear me okay? Awesome. Hi, Nancy. One of my old training partners is here. <laughs> awesome. So I'm Jamie Drescher. Uh, I am from New Jersey, but I currently live in North Carolina in Raleigh. Uh, I started Taekwondo 21 years ago, I believe, 1999, uh, in New Jersey. Uh, I got my second degree black belt there, and then I moved to Raleigh about five years ago, uh, and I train here in Raleigh. I'm now a third degree black belt. I run Morrisville Taekwondo here in the area, which now is run from my house. This is my new Taekwondo studio. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I hope everyone wants to work out because I have planned a workout. If you want to just watch, that's fine. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to do like a pretty basic warm up. We're going to stretch. Uh, I want to go over like two kicks pretty in detail. Uh, and then we will go from there. I have like to warn everyone before every zoom class I teach, I have a crazy dog. She will run through this the entire time. She'll probably bark. There's been a lot of squirrels outside today, so she's barked most of the classes I've taught today, so just go with it. Uh, yeah, and she likes to see how many toys she can bring to me while I teach. Last class was eight, so we'll see if we can top that. Cool. All right. Who's ready to work out? Yeah? Awesome. All right, and like I said, every time I, I have to either go to the floor or come up, I'm going to come to my computer and adjust it, so don't mind me. Uh, my head will be chopped off at some points. So that's fine. You guys know what I look like by now. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, let me scoot this down a little bit. Uh, we're going to warm up with more of an Olympic style warm up. So what you're going to do, you're going to bring your knee. So again, you're all adults, so you know, I'm going to be opposite of you. I'm going to say the wrong side of what I'm doing. I know my right to my left, I promise. Uh, you're going to bring your knee up to your chest 10 times on each side. Now, if that's easy for you to do, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put kind of a little bit of a skip behind it. So as you bring your knee up, you'll put a little jump under your bottom foot. We're gonna do 10 on our, each leg, all right? And then I'll let you do a set on your own. You wanna bring your knee straight up as high as you can. So we're gonna start on our left leg. So ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. If this is the first time you've done this, it feels very awkward. It should feel awkward. Your foot is coming up from the ground as your knee is coming up. So it happens at the same time. So now you should be on your right leg. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome, if this gets to be too much, just take the jump now. You guys can just bring your knee straight up. The next one we're gonna do, we're gonna alternate 10 times. So you'll go one, two, back and forth, and we'll do 10 total, all right, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, awesome. All right, we're gonna do one more set. So we'll go left, right, and then both, all right, ready? So we'll start on our left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, other leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last time we're going to alternate back and forth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So the whole point of that, besides getting your heart rate up as I'm out of breath, is just working on movement. So when we're sparring or fighting, you don't want to stand flat-footed because the more flat-footed you stand, the harder it is to move. You move slow. So if you're light on the balls of your feet, it's going to be easier to move fast. Awesome. All right. So now we're going to move on and we're going to do more of like an upper body and a little bit of core. Bet you didn't know you signed up for that, but we're going to do it. So you're going to get down in a plank position or a push-up position. If at any point this gets to be too much, just drop your knees down. That's fine. Uh, you're going to do 20 alternating punches in your high plank. So, excuse me. So you're going to be down like this. Hopefully your dog's not in the way. And you're going to punch straight out. So we're going to do that 20 times. And then we're going to stand up and we're going to do it standing up this way. All right. So what I tell you about the dog toys. So get down and plank. Stay with me if you can. Again, if you need to, just drop your knees. 
Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Awesome. So now we're going to stand up. So if it's your first time hunting today, you want all your fingers on the inside except your thumbs. We don't put our thumbs on the inside because if you punch something, you'll break your thumbs. So just make sure they're on the outside, okay? So everything we're doing is gonna be from a sparring stance. You don't want your elbows out this way. You want your elbows in tight. All you're gonna do, you can have either foot in front. You're gonna punch straight with the front hand, punch straight with the back hand. And you see whatever hand I'm not using, it's coming right back to my face. That's just so we can block, okay? So we're gonna do 10, it'll be 20 total. Ready, so one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. We're going to repeat that one more time. I'm going to push this down a little bit. So we're going to be back in that plank position. Again, drop your knees if you need to. No big deal. We got 20 punches. Try to keep your hips square to the ground. You don't want your hips going side to side. So you want to hold your core tight. Just make sure you're not holding your breath. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good. We're gonna hop up and do it one more time standing. Our jab cross or our two straight punches. So hands up by your head. We're in that sparring stance. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. So now that we're warmed up and I'm out of breath, we're going to do a quick set of stretches so you all can have a seat on the ground. You're just going to put one leg out, reach down to that foot. Again, if these are difficult, just try to reach down to your toes. If this is easy for you, you can always pick your foot up off the ground or try to get your nose to your knee. So we're going to stretch a little and then we're going to switch to some kicks and switch legs. Good. You're going to put both feet out in front. Try to reach down and touch your toes. If you guys can't touch your toes, the trick is just to bend your knees and then push your legs out as much as you can. My dog likes to pick the loudest toys and chew them as loud as she can during Zoom call. See, she knows. And bottoms of your feet together, butterflies. So you just want to try to push your knees to the ground. You can use either your hands or your elbows this way. Good. Just a couple more. Put your legs out as wide as you can. You're going to reach over to one side. If this is easy for you, just take your opposite arm and then try to reach to your toes that way. And same thing to the other side. So either reach your toes or reach your opposite hand up and over. Good. And the last one, you're going to reach down to the middle. So step one is hands on the ground. Step two is elbows on the ground. Step three is getting your head on the ground. Cool. Awesome. All right. So the plan. We're going to break down a kick. So what we're going to do first, we're going to do it sitting. Then we're going to do it standing, and if you guys saw, I asked you to bring like a chair or something. That's just for when we do slow kicks standing up. You just want something to hold on if this is new to you. If this is not new to you, you don't need the chair. That's fine, just in case. After we do it with the chair or slowly, we're going to do it full speed, and we're going to do, my plan is to do two kicks today, okay? So the first one we're going to do, and you guys can stay on the ground, is going to be a side kick. So just in case you don't know what that looks like, you're kicking out this way, okay? So what you're gonna do, you wanna get down on one of your sides. Doesn't matter what side, that back hand is gonna be on the ground. So you just want your hip tilted over. So you guys can probably see, my big toe is on the ground. That's how far over I am. So you don't want your toes up and down. You want your toes turned to the side, okay? So the first step of this kick, you wanna bring your knee in towards your stomach. So you want your knee in as close to your stomach as you can. You want a flat line here. So if you had like a glass of water or something, it would stay right here. Bagels say I'm gonna play ball while I do this. 
So you want your knee flat, okay? So that's the first step. Second step, you're gonna kick straight out. The heel is what's making contact. That's what makes this kick so strong, is hitting with the heel, okay? This is your second step. Step three would be bring it back in. Step four is put it down. So we're gonna do two more like that. So you're gonna bring your knee in as tight as you can. You should feel kind of a weird pinching in your hip. Kick straight out. Try to pull your toes back so that your heel is kicking straight out. Bring it back in and put it down. We're gonna do one more on this side and then we'll switch. So knee in, kick out, knee in, and back down. Good, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So just flip over. Again, please feel free to put your back hand on the ground. It's gonna help you to get better technique and not fall over. So again, make sure you can put your big toes on the ground. If you can't, you gotta adjust your body a little bit. So bring that knee into your chest. You should start pushing your heel out now while your knee is in. You don't want your toes out this way. Kick out, remember your heel is the only thing that's making contact. Bring it back in and put it down. We're gonna do two more like that. Knee in, kick it out, knee in, put it down. We're gonna do one more. Knee in, kick out, knee in, and put it down. All right, now we're gonna try it standing up. So if you wanna get a chair or something to hold, you can. You can also just do it next to the wall. That's more than fine. My head most likely won't be in this video again. It's fine. I'm more focused on my leg. So my kicking leg is the one that's furthest away from the chair, okay? My base foot, the one that's not kicking, I want my toes pointed away from my body. So my kick is going this way, my toes are pointed this way. Don't hyperextend your knee. You do want a little bend in your knee so that you don't hurt it, okay? So turn your toes first. Bring your knee in, just like we did sitting down, knee into your chest. Remember, you wanna start sticking your heel out now, okay? Now you're gonna slowly kick it out. Don't worry about kicking high. Just don't worry about kicking like to the face. This will be going more towards the hips. Good, bring it back in, knee as tight as you can, and put it down. We're gonna do two more like that. So knee in, kick out slow if you can. Make sure that other hand is up. Think about straight line, back in, and put it down. We're gonna do one more. Knee in, kick out, straight line, back in, and put it down. Even if this isn't your first time doing it, you should feel some weird pinching going on. It's nothing bad, I promise. We're gonna switch sides, so I'm gonna move my chair. You guys can just flip around. So remember, first thing, you want your toes pointed towards the chair this way, okay? And you can hold on to that chair for support. Now, knee in tight. Remember, you could stack something right here and it wouldn't fall off. You're gonna kick out, straight line. Heel should be as pushed out as it can. Bring it back in and put it down. Two more. Knee up, kick out slow. Bring it back in and put it down. One more. Knee up, kick out, knee in and put it down. Awesome. So you can move that chair out of the way if you have one. Now we're just going to do it full speed. You're not going to hold on to something, okay? So I'm going to do it sideways here. We're just going to pick up our front leg and throw the side kick. So you want the side kick to have those four parts still. So that would be knee in, kick out, knee in, and put it back, all right? So let's do three on each side. So hands up. You guys can do either side. Ready? One. Kick out in that straight line. Two, good, and three. Make sure you guys are looking at your kick that will help you from not falling over. We're gonna do the same thing, other leg. Ready, one, two, and three. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna move on to the next kick, but if anyone has a question, do I have any questions? No? Cool. All right, awesome. So the next kick we're gonna do is a little bit fancier. It's gonna be a hook kick. So a hook kick starts like a side kick and comes through. This is one that's fun. Like if someone has headgear on and you hit them with a good hook kick, you spin their headgear in front of their face. No one likes that done to them. It's a good one. So you're gonna go back down. You wanna start back how you did for that side kick. Turn it over, back hand is behind you, okay? so. You're gonna start the same way. You wanna bring that knee in, okay? The way you're gonna start a hook kick is gonna be like what I like to call a bad side kick. So when you were doing that side kick, what a lot of times you'll see people who are beginners do, 
is crunch over to try to create that kick, which is exactly what you don't want to do. That's how a hook kick starts. So your knee is in. You're going to do that side kick out to a bad angle, one you don't want to do normally. You're going to pull that kick all the way through. When you're done, your heel should be towards your bottom this way. And then you'll put it back. We're going to do two more like that. So knee in, kick out to that bad side kick, pull it all the way through. Excuse me, bagel. And put it down. One more. Knee in, kick out, pull it all the way through, and put it down. So this you're going to feel in your lower back. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, you want that other hand helping you base. So knee in, you're going to kick out to that weird 45 degree angle. You're going to pull all the way through. When you're done, your heels should be in towards your bottom and put it down. We're going to do two more. Knee in, kick out, pull all the way through, put it down. One more. Knee in, kick out, pull it all the way through and put it down. Awesome. So now you're going to get your chair and do the same exact thing. Again, if you guys don't need the chair, that is fine. So you still want your bottom foot, your base foot toes pointed away from you. So they should be pointed away from the kick. Your same hand is gonna be on the chair this way, okay? So you're gonna bring your knee in. We're gonna do this as slow as we can. Kick out to that bad angle, pull it all the way through. When you're done, your heels should be in toward your bottom and put it down. We're gonna do two more. Knee in, kick out. Pull it all the way through, put it down. One more. Knee in, kick out, pull it all the way through, and put it down. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Move that chair if you need to. Make sure your bottom foot's turned. That's your first step. So knee in, kick out to that 45 degree angle, pull that kick all the way through, and put it down. Try to keep your other hand up by your head if you can. Knee in, kick out. Pull through, put it down. We're going to do one more. Knee in, kick out, pull through, and put it down. Awesome. All right, move that chair out of the way. We're going to do three full speed. I'm going to try to not kick my dog. So the leg behind me is the one that's going to do the kick. Let me tilt this up a little bit. So I'm going to use my back leg to do the kick, and I'm going to do it towards the camera. We'll do three on each side. Ready, one. So now you want to go full speed and pull it all the way through. Two. Awesome. And three. Nice. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Hands up. Ready, one. Good. Two. And three. Very nice. Awesome. All right. So we're going to do one more thing. That's my plan. What we're gonna do is we're now gonna take the punches we did at the beginning and put it together with the kicks, okay? So we're gonna do hopefully two combinations. So the first one we're gonna do is gonna be two punches and then your back leg is going to do a side kick. Let me show you what that's gonna look like. So you can start with either foot back, doesn't matter, but you want your front hand punching first, your back hand punching second. You're now gonna use your back leg to do that side kick. So you're gonna use your cross or your backhand punch that's starting your hip turning already. Then you're gonna pull it all the way through. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you guys 30 seconds. And what you can do is you can just practice it on both sides on your own pace, okay? So as you're comfortable, you're just gonna go two punches, back leg side kick. Then you can try it on the other side. One, two, back leg side kick. If you guys are martial artists already, you can move around, use your space. When you see an opening, one, two, kick. Then you might switch your feet. You guys can keep going. One, two, kick. Then you're gonna keep going. Give you guys a couple more seconds. Then we're gonna switch. Awesome, try to keep those hands up by your head. Think about pivoting that base foot. Nice, perfect. Awesome. All right. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a trickier one. It's our last thing. So you're still going to do that jab cross. So you're still going to do front hand punch, back hand punch. Okay. Your back leg is going to do a hook kick first. So front hand punch, back hand punch, 
back leg is going to do that hook kick. You're going to land it down in front, then you're going to do a side kick with that same leg. So it's jab, cross, hook kick, side kick. Both kicks go with the same leg. So we'll do it a few times slow, and then I'll let you guys try on your own. So front hand punch, back hand punch. My back leg does that hook kick. I'm just going to place it down in front and do that side kick. If you guys are comfortable, you can add a little bit of a slide forward with that side kick. So try it on both sides at your own pace. Jab, cross, or punch, punch. Back leg hook kick. Same leg side kick. So you would use this if someone started to move back. Jab, cross. You would hit them, hopefully, to the head with that hook kick. Their hands come up here. Then you hit that side kick here on the hip or the wrist. No one likes to get side kicked in the ribs. Give you guys a couple more seconds. Jab, cross, back leg hook, same leg side kick. Awesome. Perfect. Cool. Does anyone have any questions on any of that? I'm going to assume no, because no one's saying anything. Awesome. All right. So the plan is. We're gonna stretch, and then I'll let you guys ask any other questions if you have any. I, I like your moves. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> we're, twins. we're twins. We're twins. You're twins? And we, and, 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 we, and, and we love your team. We oh. love your team. I'm gonna come out to be Are we going to practice head blocks today? Head? Oh, I know who that is. No, I don't block my head. We're not practicing that. <laughs> All right, we're going to stretch. Nancy, these stretches are going to be familiar to you. I still do these. So, are you going to start standing up, hands on your hips? You're going to walk your feet out as far as you can without putting your hands on the ground. Nancy knows. She's been doing these stretches for forever. I've been doing these stretches since I was six. Our instructor used to make us just put our hands everywhere until we would fall over. Good. So now you want to put your hands on the ground and you're going to walk your feet out further. You don't want to sit behind you. You're just going to try to walk your feet out further. Don't hold your breath. That will not help. Good. I'm not going to be mean and make you guys lean forward, but we are going to lean back. So you can use your hands to walk backwards toes up towards the ceiling. So I'm not sitting, this is sitting. I'm holding myself up here. My toes are pointed up towards the ceiling. Thank you, Bagel. Okay, thank you. Good, hold it for a few more seconds. And have a seat behind you and just reach back down to the middle. Hopefully you can reach further than you did at the beginning of class. That's the goal. Good. We're going to do one more we didn't do at the beginning, so just put both feet out in front of you. Cross one leg over the other. Do it above your knee, not on your kneecap. And you're going to bend your bottom leg in. So you want to try to get your chin towards your shin. You want to compress yourself as much as you can. Good. And we're just going to do the same thing to the other side. If you need to, unwind so you remember what side you did. And remember, you want your leg above your knee this way. Awesome. You guys can come on out of that. Cool. So I hope you guys learned something today or relearned something today. Uh, what's cool about this stuff is obviously we're not in, you know, the most ideal settings. I don't usually practice Taekwondo at home. That's not my preferred thing to do. Uh, but these are all things you can do in super little space. I just moved my kitchen table out of the way just so I have room to do this. Uh, you know, most martial artists, they're upset because they're missing out on sparring or fighting, whatever you would like to call it. We're so used to hitting each other, and that's the one thing everyone wants to do, and we don't get to do it. But this is a good time to practice technique. So, like, all those slow kicks, all those types of things that we don't spend enough time doing, we have all the time to do now. So it's a nice time to kind of refine those things. And eventually we will get back to a time where we can all hit each other what we love the most. But until then, 
this is kind of what we're doing. Uh, I always say, you know, whatever you take from a martial arts class, take what you like. If you ever get in a self-defense situation, you don't have to use, oh, this is what Jamie taught me today. Think about what you like. Me, I'm a sidekick person. If I ever get into a situation, I use a sidekick because I know I'm not a big person. I'm like barely 5'3". I can sidekick and break someone's rib if I need to. So I know like I have that to go back to. If you guys loved punching today, use that. That's the thing you like. So you don't have to take everything you learn always. Just kind of take this, the small things that you liked the most. Awesome. Well, I'm all done if anyone has any questions. Thank you so much, Jamie. I see some kids raising their hands. So if you want to raise your hand in the video, I'm happy to call on you. So I see um, the boys um, in Lisa Magnus's um, video. You guys want to ask Jamie a question? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm doing martial arts in Toronto Spring, Maryland. You both do, you both do martial arts? Yeah, can yeah. we do this class again? You know, I am not in charge, but I will ask the Maccabi people if we can do this again. And I'm sure if your parents want to send me a message, you guys could come in one of my Taekwondo Zoom classes. So I still teach Taekwondo every day. I'm sure you guys are more than welcome to. Yes, if, if um, anybody wants to reach out to um, me at Maccabi USA, we're happy to share um, Jamie's email address so you can reach out to her and learn a little bit more about some opportunities. Um, Absolutely. And then I see Barry Gurevich. You want to ask a question, Barry? Yeah. Go Thank ahead. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Did you have fun? Yeah, really. Good. I'm glad you could join us. Awesome. Anybody else would like to share anything? <laughs> Well, thank you, Jamie, so much for joining thank us you. today. Um, I know I learned a lot. Um, we thoroughly enjoyed um, getting to move My around. dog. Yeah. Oh, the star of the show. As well. Um, and we appreciate your time and hope Absolutely. you are continuing to stay safe and healthy. And hopefully we will get to see you soon. Um, and hopefully we'll get to see you at the Maccabi in 2022. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Yes. Thank you all for coming today. I really appreciate it. Thank like Mackenzie you, said, if anyone needs anything, you guys can feel free to reach out. Yes, absolutely. You can email me directly, um, mmager at maccabiusa.com. Yeah. And then um, I will also be sending a email um, with a, a survey link as well. If you would take a minute to um, fill out the survey, that would be amazing. Thank you guys again for joining us. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Jamie.